Hello hunters, my name is Dave Miller, professional shooter and avid bird hunter. This is my little buddy Clay. And today we want to talk to you a little bit about shooting pheasants and understanding what your pheasant load does at different yardages. I took our Agula ounce and a quarter 1330 of number four shot. It's an ounce and a quarter of fours at 1330 foot per second, which is your average pheasant load, same load I grew up shooting when I was younger. Same thing my dad used to reload when I was younger. And went out to the pattern board. And here's what we had, it was an improved cylinder choke tube, which is 10 thousandths constriction on your 12 gauge gun, which is the average choke that most people run in their guns these days. So I just want to go with something in the middle. 15 yards, which is 45 feet, we had all 179 pellets impact the inside circle that. You can see it's a nice pattern, right? Dead center of the, of the 30 inch circle. We took a average, an average of five shells and the average happened to be 179 pellets out of those five shells okay so that's 179 pellets of number four pellets inside the angular shell so it's awesome awesome pattern right here it's tight but it's 15 yards okay taking it a step further here we go 25 yards 10 more yards improved cylinder choke still 75 feet 182 pellets in this shell, 173 impacting the center, and nine just outside. So that's 173 pellets right there. Great pattern. Still on the tight side, but I'm, I'm telling you, that is a dead pheasant. If you're anywhere close, that's a dead pheasant. Um, taking it a step further. Improved cylinder choke, 35 yards, which is 105 feet away. We had 159 total hits, 129 inside the circle, and 28 outside. Still a very effective pattern. This is not too far. This is just right. I've shot a lot of pheasants at 30, 35 yards and killed them dead. You start getting out past 35, 45, 50 yards, and that's where you see a lot of feathers coming off and no birds dropping. So, you know, as, as ethical hunters, we owe it to our birds, and to our to our game, to try to kill them as efficiently as possible. And, you know, we don't want to chase them around. You got an old fat springer like that. He can't run like he used to. So it's hard for, to, it's hard for them to recover a wounded bird. And pheasants can run, as you as you know. So anyway, I want to share that with you. Take a look at AggieAmmunition.com and Miller Shooting Sports. Have a safe hunt.